Hey guys, it's Dr. Berg here. In this video, we're going to talk about what's behind dry eyes. So many people have it and they don't really know what it is and they take these drops. I used to have really bad dry eyes. In fact, I remember uh, driving across the country and I was towing my car in the back because I, I was moving. And uh, basically, I'm driving down, the, I'm drinking all this coffee, eating the wrong foods, and my eyes start to get really dry to the point where I would close them and it would get sticky and I couldn't even see. So I pulled off to the road and I got a hotel. And I'm like, okay, good, I can relax, right? So I have my eyes closed. I wake up in the morning and I open my eye and I rip my cornea. Would you believe that? And so here I am on a Saturday walking blinded, like trying to find an eye doctor on a Saturday morning. So I found one and he was, uh, he was busy until Monday. I had to get home. So I basically walked in the back and I said, no, no, excuse me. No, you have to help me. I need to get, I'm moving and I have everything packed up. So he gave me some medication to get to the next, the next state uh, when I was going. But the point was, if I only known back then, um, this simple remedy, it would have been solved. So dry eyes is a vitamin A deficiency. Okay. Now it's not just a matter of taking a supplement. I don't even recommend taking a vitamin A supplement. It's so easy to get it from the food. Uh, Vitamin A is a fat soluble vitamin. Okay, here are some foods that vitamin A come in. Like you have um, cod liver oil. Okay, uh, butter. Yeah, egg yolk. Those are really high in vitamin A. Now, I also recommend you get your vitamin A from vegetables, but just realize it's not a true vitamin A. It's a pre-vitamin A that then converts to an active form. So kale would be really good. Leafy greens would be really good. Okay, so that all gives you parsley would be good. So we want to add that into the mix, but some people are consuming these products, but it's still not working. Why? Because they don't have the strength of the gallbladder. And this is probably more common than the diet. When the gallbladder becomes sluggish and you don't produce enough bile, B-I-L-E, you can't break down the fat soluble uh, nutrients from the food. So you never get the vitamin A. So the vision at night is a problem, dry skin, uh, sinus issue, sleep apnea, and dry eyes, but, but in skin problems too. So vitamin A is absorbed with bile. And so if you don't have enough and your gallbladder is sluggish because your diet's been bad, um, then that's probably why you're deficient in vitamin A. Okay? So what do you do about it? Well, you can start eating better and consistently over a period of time. Uh, you can also take some bile um, salts. I have something in a gallbladder formula that you can, I put a link down there to take. And you take, take one after a meal, and what will happen, it will give you the bile that you're missing to put back to start absorbing the fat soluble vitamins. Okay? But you're going to have to also correct your diet. You just can't live off a pill, right? So those are the two main reasons why you have dry eye. It's either your vitamin A is not coming from the diet, or you're not absorbing the vitamin A because your gallbladder and liver are messed up, okay? So I hope you enjoy this tip and I will see you in the next video.